let's see how you work out the C set maths pass paper question two A three all right this is a quadratic expression and they ask you to factorize this completely now go ahead and do it and let me and tell me what what you get for it all right good now let's take a look at it we're going to use the AC method right in this case let's put um put it in the general format when you're dealing with AC method what you have is generally you have a x squared plus b x plus c you remember that that is the general format of a quadratic expression right now in this case though we have numbers instead of a b and c and we have t instead of x so let's see how we deal with it in the ac method you say a times c is equal to ac now in this case you're going to say 2 times 2 right so it's going to be 2 times 2 and what does that give you four so you're going to have four multiply both of them you get four so in this case AC is equal to four and then you see that B is it well it's negative four two times negative two positive 2 times negative 2 will give you negative 4 and the b is negative 3 all right now what you're going to do is think of two numbers those two numbers multiply they give you ac and they add to give you b so when you multiply them you get ac when you add them you get B in this case you multiply these two numbers you get negative 4 when you add them you get negative 3 what could those two numbers be alright let's see what happened what numbers multiply to give you negative 4 Let's see if I can get a list of those numbers here. You have numbers that multiply to give negative 4. You have negative 4 and 1. All right? Negative 4 and 1. Which are the numbers you have? You have well numbers that multiply to give negative 4 you also have positive 4 and negative 1 now think of more can you think of more of them they multiply to give you negative 4 1 and negative 4 negative 4 and 1 about 2 2 and negative 2 2 and negative 2 as well now those are numbers that multiply to give you negative 4 which two numbers multiply to give add to give you negative 3 well certainly not these let's see 4 plus negative 1 is same as 4 minus 1 that is a positive 3 can I use this negative 4 plus 1 
ah if you have a negative 4 on the number line and you move one place up to the right you end up at negative 3 so negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 also if you owe the bank 4 million dollars your asset would be negative 4 then you pay the bank 3 million you pay the bank a million dollars how much you owe them now well you only owe them 3 million dollars this time so again negative 4 negative 4 million plus a million give you negative 3 million you owe them negative you owe them 4 million which means in the negative you pay them a million you now you only owe them 3 million so negative 4 plus 1 give you negative 3 all right good so let's see what happened here the two numbers that you're going to work with are these numbers now you know that they multiply to give you negative 4 and they add to give you negative 3 and the numbers are negative 4 and 1 so at one end in the working what we do is say you have 2t squared 2t squared let's just write our t like this for now 2t squared minus you're going to break up the middle part the negative 3t into negative 4t and 1t all right let's go to the other end first you have negative 2 so at one end you have negative 2t squared and at the other end you have negative 2 what's going to happen in the middle you break the negative 3 up into negative 4 and put the t plus 1 and put the t so that's what you have all right I put equal it should be plus plus 1 t good so we fix that up now we're going to factorize each of these in parts the 2t squared separate from the 1t minus 2 so in this case when you factorize 2t squared when you factorize 2 c squared you're going to have the common factor in terms of numbers the common factor here is 2 2 can go into 2 and it also can go into negative 4 so it's 2 any other t you have t squared here and you have t here T can go into T squared and T can also go into T. So T outside the bracket. Inside the bracket now. You have open bracket. You're going to have closed bracket. What's going to happen in the middle? I believe there's going to be a negative sign in the middle. Now, let's see what happens. Let's go in the reverse direction. Suppose you should expand this bracket. What would happen? 2t times this will give you 2t squared. What, this, what must this be? Of course, it must be a t. Then minus. 2t times this will give you 4t. What must this be? 2 times 2 give you 4 and then the t takes care of itself so it's 2 that's supposed to come here all right here now that takes care of this part I'm going to factorize this part now you have a t minus 2 
we write it as a 1t minus 2. What is the common factor? Of course, it has to be 1. Only 1 can go into 1t and also can go into negative 2 without leaving a remainder. So we have an open bracket. We obviously will have a minus sign in the middle. And out here we close the bracket. This is a positive one, so I put a plus one here. Now, one times this will give you a one t. So this must be t. One times this must give you a negative two. Well, a two. We have a negative taken care of already. One times this will give you two. So this must be two. Now you notice here. T minus 2 is here and T minus 2 is here. Exactly how I want it. it, it the, what is in the bracket must be the same thing. And then we consider that this and this is a common factor. 2T times something here plus T times something here. The common factor is this something here. So, we have the common factor as t minus 2. So, let's deal with that. We take the common factor t minus 2 outside a bracket. Let me put a little space in it. Make it look neat. And close the bracket. What do we have inside the bracket? We're going to have t minus 2 times this will give you 2t by t minus 2. So this must be 2t. Alright? Then t minus 2 times what you have out here will give you 1 times t minus 2. So it must be 1. Close bracket. So this is fully factorized now. t minus 2 in one bracket. 2t plus 1 in the other bracket. All right, and we see that t times 2t give you 2t square at the other end negative 2 times 1 give you a negative 2 then in the middle t times 2t that's no, I mean negative 2 times 2t negative 2 by 2t will give you a negative 4t and here, the, how you get the other t? t times 1. Give you a positive t. So, in this case, negative 4t plus t will give you negative 3t. So, this is the answer. If you did it and got this, then congratulations. We'll move on later on.